Alright, so for my manicure, let's just get into it. Let's read some of these one-star reviews that people have given this place where I'm going to get a manicure. Alright, so Evelyn says, if I could rate this zero stars, I would. I came in because I needed a pedicure and I was already there, so I decided that I could walk in. I got sat down and everything was going fine until I saw the lady using a really old used nail file on my toes. Pause! If your manicurist is using one of these on you and there's like already white scuff marks, uh, no. You tell them right away like, can you get me a new one because that's highly unsanitary. Like, that's someone else's nail debris. You don't know if that was on someone's nasty fungus toe. Like, you just don't know where those have been. So ask for a new one and if they say no, walk out. Like, no shame, walk out. Anyways, back to Evelyn's review. Uh, she said, I kindly asked if she could use a new file on me because honestly that's just gross and regulations to use a new file on every client. Anyway, she proceeds to act as if she didn't know what I'm talking about. I pointed out the nail file and said if she could use a new one. We're going back and forth for a while until she called over a young lady at the front desk to see what I needed. I told her what I wanted so the lady who did my pedicure took out another used nail file on me. Honestly, don't waste your time or money here. <sighs> All right next review Alyssa says if I could rate this truly there would be no star it was $43 for a full set of gel nails with nothing fancy to them at all the customer service was also a zero star they're lumpy crooked and they couldn't even sit us next to one another because I went in with my sister and got moved to the opposite side just so some lady could sit there blah blah blah, blah. Also, if they could charge 43 bucks for a set of gel nails, they should be able to buy hand rest instead of using empty lotion bottles. Insert picture. Uh, they also didn't push back the cuticle. There's so much more I can say, but no one wants to read this much for a review. Wow, so here she put, like legit posted a picture of them using this lotion bottle as like her armrest. And uh, that's just ghetto. That's really ghetto. I would never... Ugh, that just is weird. Whatever. And she also posted a picture of like her nails and she points out that it's lumpy, which I see the lump, but she missed like a whole corner of her nail. Do y'all see that? Like, did she not see that? 43 bucks, that's what you get. All right, next review. Sophia says, I have been to this place many times. For the most part, I like it. They aren't the friendliest. I went in on Thursday for a gel mani and it's now Sunday and all my gel is chipping off. I understand a week or two after, but if I'm paying $30, I should get a good amount of time to enjoy pretty nails. This is ridiculous. Taking my business elsewhere. Okay, so I'm expecting to pay about $30 for a um, gel manicure and I really don't want to because I know like the quality is just not going to be worth even $30 which is sad but we'll see what happens all right next review page one star says I just went here yesterday to get a gel manicure I am seriously disappointed I woke up today and my my nails literally just came off in full nail pieces I have never had an experience like this before with gel nails and she posted a picture and they all are in whole little polished pieces which yeah, that really shouldn't happen that the day after. That's pretty bad. So this nail salon actually has two stars. Um, there aren't really any one stars, which is crazy, but this one has over a hundred bad reviews. So that's why I ended up choosing this one. So uh, I'm really nervous. Like this is not going to be good. So I haven't gotten a manicure in so long. As you can see, like some of my nails are really short uh they're really dry i need my cuticles off i have like really bad dry skin my nails are super thin um what else this hand is even worse i have two short ones um i do have some like hang nails in some places so we'll see if they can fix me up i guess some of my nails are uneven, so I'm just going to ask them to cut them short to match the rest, and we'll see what they can do. Let's go get a manicure and see what happens, shall we?
All right, guys. So, as for my manicure, yeah, the place walking into it was definitely much dirtier than the last salon by far. It was messy. Um, the front desk was really nice. She definitely was really pushy though. Like, are you sure you don't want fake nails going in for a gel manicure? And I said, no. And then she gave me the colors and then I picked a really light shade because I just don't really put colors on my nails that often. And she's like, are you sure you don't want another color? Like trying to get me to do all these things. And I was like, no, no, like this is what I want. I picked it the first time. Like, thank you though. Uh, sitting there waiting. I didn't wait too long as a walk-in, but it was hot. I was sweating in there. And I don't know if that's just me and my body temperature, but I think Mason was a little hot too. Yeah, he's nodding over there. But that's, that's okay, whatever. Um, sitting down in that chair, uh, my manicurist didn't really speak a lot to me. I don't know if it was a language barrier or anything, but or she it's towards the end of the day Maybe she's been working all day and she's tired, uh, but that's fine. No big deal But the desk itself was very it was dusty before I got there So that's probably someone else's nail debris dust that's sitting all over the desk that I'm sitting at now there were nail clippings that were there before I got there, before I got my nails cut, just chilling to the right of me. Um, underneath on the floor, there were fake nails everywhere, which those, they're fake, they're plastic, but still, like, I personally like to make sure before each client, like, I sweep, just make sure your area is clean because, you know, I want my client to come back, so that doesn't make me want to come back seeing a messy area. Also, we noticed that their table lamps that they have were one, filled with dust, which was gross, but two, when I went up to wash my hands, I noticed a lot of them were wrapped in foil at the like base of their lamp, and like they had tape on them, and I was just like, I don't understand why they did that. It's just, it just, the overall feel was really like ghetto. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. It was ghetto. It's just the way they improvise things. It was just really low. It was poorly thought out. Let's just say that. First thing I noticed as well was in the review that I read of somebody, she said that they, they used a lotion bottle for her armrest. Here she put like legit posted a picture of them using this lotion bottle as like her armrest and uh that's just ghetto that's really ghetto i would never uh that just is weird now i didn't have that happen to me but i did have these like grocery bag duct tape blocks that were dirty and so unprofessional definitely would never ever put that at my desk never so bad but I mean you make it work I guess right so I put my hands down um, next thing I noticed was her little cart in the back it she pulled her tools from a container that was labeled soiled implements now also by law if you use those tools on a client you do have to put them in a bin that's labeled soiled. So kudos to her for following that, but she used them on me when they were already soiled. So that's not kudos to her for that because that's against the law. And now someone else's nasty cuticle germs are that were cut with those tools are now cutting my skin. So that was a little gross, but uh, whatever, I, yeah, moving on. Uh, also, what I noticed was that it just, the, I noticed that when she was polishing my nails, she didn't uh, prep them or like prime them, which would explain why people in a lot of the reviews there say that their nails chip or they peel off in like a whole nail shaped of gel. Um, so that 100% explains why, because they're not using anything, like any kind of like adhesive to make that gel stick to the nail plate. So I don't have high hopes for these lasting me very long. Uh, I'm definitely gonna 
play it by ear and see in a week or two how they look or maybe tomorrow if they peel I really don't know I will keep you guys posted on that but yeah they don't use any products that are gonna make that quality of nails last which is a shame because I did notice that like their base coat and top coat that brand of product that they're using is really good quality so it's a shame that like they're using good product but it's not gonna last long because they're not prepping the nail correctly so that's a shame but like I said we'll see what happens I really don't know you never know I don't know if my nails are gonna last for two weeks or not so we'll see with that also when she was giving me my like final massage which usually like I feel like with the hands I never really care I've worked in a couple salons where they don't even offer a hand massage after the service because it's just you get all slimy and like then they have to pay and it's just like a situation uh it was nice but she only massaged like up to this knuckle so my fingertips were completely dry <laughs> and although the massage was like okay it was a little half-assed I would say but the whole point is to like hydrate all the stuff that she filed and the dehydration and she she didn't put any lotion or oil or anything there which just kind of like blows my mind because I came in with really dry cuticles and I'm leaving with really dry cuticles <laughs> so that's a pity but whatever and then after that she took a metal file which legally needs to be disinfected which was not disinfected and she like filed the edges which also isn't a good thing because that's breaking the seal that she just applied with the gel so when you apply gel and you cap it at the end that's what's going to make it last so if i bang my nail it's capped it's sealed it's dried it's done but she filing that edge she's breaking that seal which is going to cause it to flake and chip like super quick and we don't want that so like I said, we'll see what happens with these nails. I really don't know. Ugh. All in all, I think I would review this place definitely a one star all around the board. It was just walking in. I was so unimpressed. It was messy. It seemed disorganized. They, the way things were on their desk, it just was highly unprofessional, highly unsanitary, just not appealing at all there is no way shape or form i would want to go back there and that's just the honest to goodness truth and i absolutely agree that everything every review i read was probably pretty accurate i know that some of them were pretty harsh but you know you've got to make sure you want your customer to come back and i i don't want to go back ever it just it was a bad experience but you know i was nice i still it was 25 dollars for my gel manicure which was extremely cheap and you get what you pay for when you go to these that's all i can say you know if you want to pay for a 25 dollars gel manicure then that's what you're gonna get you're gonna get poor quality and you're gonna get a mess and you're gonna get really unsanitary areas so that's all i could say again if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up also make sure you tell me where you get your nails done so comment down below what your salon experience is like because i'm really curious like does everybody think this is normal clean because i feel like people go to these salons and they think it's normal but it's not normal so tell me what your experience is like i'd really like to know but anyways that's all i have for you guys for this video and i'll see you guys next time Bye. okay so as for an update on how the nails are lasting they're not doing so well it's been about a week and within i think it was like two or three days one of them started like peeling at the edge and now more than half of them are all chipped at the bottom and my the skin around my edges is Ugh, I feel like I have more hangnails now than I did before and yeah it just it wasn't the best $25 I've ever spent but what can you do I know a lot of people are really like nervous about getting like their cuticles cut and stuff and I just want to make it clear that like 
everything I know is for the state of California. That's the state that I am licensed in. So wherever you live, your laws are gonna be totally different than mine per se. Just make sure you do your research of where you live and just see what like your sanitation laws are. They're relatively similar, but some things are different. Like I guess some states you you're not even supposed to cut the cuticles and in the state of California it says that only the upper layer of the skin known as the epidermis may by any method or means be removed and then only for the purpose of improving the appearance of the skin. So when we go to school in the state of California we are trained on how to on what areas to properly cut and not cut and how to do it safely so your state might be totally different and that's why usually i expect my cuticles or hangnails and stuff like that that dry areas of skin on my nail bed to be cut so that's just for my state and if you don't want them to cut it you can ask them not to cut it um but i like it cut i like it to look really smooth and really clean and if it's done properly, it won't make me bleed and I've never, ever, ever had any problems with infections or anything like that. Some of that skin is to protect your nail, your nail bed from getting like infections and bacteria and stuff like that. But if you're trained properly, you'll know what parts to cut and what parts not to cut. So just be aware of that. Um, but like I said, make sure you do your research for the state that you live in. That's really important. So like I said, this is for California. California is one of the states that we need the most hours of schooling in order to get our license. So yeah, just learn what your regulations are per your nail salons. And that goes for anything, hair, makeup, all that stuff. Like every, there's different rules for different things too. I know I look crazy, but I just can't tame the mane today. So don't mind me. That was my manicure experience. It is what it is.